one, Lewis here with my latest review. I'm here to do a spoiler review of the Netflix teen drama scuba diving series from Australia called Dive Club. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts for when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Warning, this video does contain spoilers. If you didn't watch the series, I would recommend you watching it first before you come and watch this video. The plot involves a group of girls who live in the fictional town of Cape Mercy on an island in Australia. Together, Anna, Lauren, Maddie, and Stevie form a club they call Dive Club, which is based out of a warehouse on a dock. One day, Lauren makes a video about the diving adventures she goes on with the girls as they all go scuba diving and come back to find out that storm is brewing. Lauren tells Stevie she forgot her smartphone in the boat. She gets in and suddenly she screams, which starts the series of events including Lauren's disappearance in the series. Izzy, a new girl, who flew into Cape Mercy with her fa father, who's an engineer in a helicopter, spotted a boat overturned on a rock. Izzy meets Anna, Maddie, and Steve then leads them to the boat. Later on, Izzy joins the dive club, gets certified to scuba dive through Stevie's sister, and she also sings too. Anna is the daughter of the mayor of Cape Mercy. Maddie lives with her grandparents after losing both her parents. Lauren is the daughter of Cape Mercy's police chief, and Stevie lives with her sister, who's also a marine biologist. Throughout the series, they find clues that lead them to Lauren eventually. The girls end up meeting a Russian adventurer, author, and scuba diver named Lenin Kamalra, who had been in touch with Lauren as they discovered she dove the wreck of a Russian ship that had a Russian princess who had crown jewels from Russia, which was later to be discovered to be sunk by a pirate ship named the Nemesis. Later on, the, the girls and Lennon end up doing a wreck dive at the ship that Lauren was at, and during the dive, Lennon is injured by an unknown diver who nearly killed him. Anna's mother temporarily closes the clubhouse in the wake of the incident, but the girls find the wreck of the nemesis and what survived the sinking of the ship. We also discovered that Anna isn't just a scuba diver, but also a ballet dancer who's also a descendant of the captain of the nemesis. At first, it was thought she was a descendant of the Russian princess, but later it was discovered that the princess was murdered by the nemesis captain in a sword fight. The crown jewels are a crown, a brooch, a bracelet, and a necklace. The necklace was recovered during the dive to the wreck by the girls in Lennon, while Lauren recovered the brooch, but it was later stolen by the same person who kidnapped her, while the bracelet was given to Anna by her grandmother, Victoria. Stevie briefly had the necklace until Anna took it from Stevie's bag, and during the festival, the lighthouse, which was which earlier in the series was mentioned to not be working. Turns out that Lauren was alive and was being held there. Earlier in the series, Anna's mother, Renee, fooled the town by throwing Lauren's jacket into the water to make people believe she drowned at sea when she didn't. Then the girls go to the lighthouse to rescue Lauren and then they go to the mausoleum in the cemetery to discover the crown in pieces and also discover the remains of the pirate captain of the nemesis. Later they find out who was behind the attempted murder of Lennon at the wreck. The kidnapping of Warren as well as everything else that went on in Cape Mercy. It was their friend Hayden who kidnapped Lauren, broke into her room, broke into the clubhouse and, dis and discovered 
that he's an accomplice to the real mastermind, Anna's grandmother, as they are on their boat. They see the clubhouse on fire as Anna accidentally set the clubhouse on fire. Hayden and Victoria, Anna's grandmother, take hand, I mean, Anna on their yacht as they tie up Izzy, Lauren, Maddie, and Stevie to their boat as they lead them to die as another storm is around the corner in a cliffhanger. Now that you've seen the series, you've before you've seen this video, all I have to say is good work. My thoughts on Dive Club. I like it. It's not just a great show for teens, but also people of all ages who love scuba diving, shipwrecks, pirates, and mysteries. When I was watching this, it makes me think about when I was scuba diving in Cozumel with Dive Heart, diving up at Dutch Springs, while it also made me think of other mysteries like the anime Detective Conan or Case Closed here in the U.S. to even Riverdale, even though I've never seen it. I highly recommend this series. This is a must-watch series. You can see it now on Netflix. I will post the link in the description below. As of this recording, no word on when there will be a season two as this series ended one with 12 episodes and on a cliffhanger. I will post the link to the spoiler-free version of this review in the description below, along with the link to watch the series on Netflix. Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, Practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, most importantly, get vaccinated, and lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.